guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of something I have had my eye on for quite a while and I reached out to the company and they were really excited for us to work together. So, <gasps> Fanatic is amazing in case you didn't know who Fanatic is. They do fantastic like medallions, they do the, um, they, they, they do the invitations and things like the, the, the metal invitations like the the Quidditch World Cup, the Yule Ball, they did the Fantastic Beasts, uh, Secrets of Dumbledore one for the train, when obviously they have to go in, is it Germany or Belgium or better? I can't remember, I've watched the film for so long. But they do the most amazing stuff, so much so I've actually bought some of the Star Wars items for Adam for like Christmas and birthday. So the fact that they have sent me a box of goodies, right, including something I have had my eye on for so long, I gotta be honest, I am so excited to get into this box. So, I'm gonna show you my wand today. Now, I haven't used this wand, I don't think, in a video yet, but this is the Grigorovich. Yay, I said it first time! <laughs> Oh my god, I tell you something, I need help. And um, this is the Grigorovich wand. This is such a cool wand. This one and uh is it um Gallic Grindelwald's? Absolutely love these two ones. So they are just so cool, so kind of like a piece of wood that they found on the floor, sort of thing, you know, and just carved into it, make it all like magical and mystical and everything. But this is such a cool one. But as I always say, I'm gonna put it back before I break it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm actually wearing this Philosopher's Stone t-shirt. This is actually from Forbidden Planet. I was trying to think then, what's that shop called? This is from Forbidden Planet. I think Monica paid about £14 for it, but I love it. It is an officially licensed one, obviously, but this is the reason why I am wearing this top. Now, I've had my eye on this for a long time. Now, they are limited edition and they are still available. But there's an item in here that is actually about the Philosopher's Stone. So, and it's an item that I keep seeing on like social media. And when I went to the Spring Fair last month, oh my life, they were so kind so lovely and they had this on display and I reached out to them a couple of weeks ago and I was just like you know if it's not too much trouble I would love to do that because it's such an amazing piece and bless them they sent it to me but first before I show you what is inside this magical box we are going to delve into today in the wizarding world reading from the book Harry Potter a magical year so today is the 20th of March. Can you believe the 20th of March? How crazy is that? Can't believe how fast this year is going. It's almost April. It's almost the twins' birthday. You know, April Fool's Day. The 20th of March. As the teachers bent over Justin and Lily had to snick, examining them, Peeves broke into song. Oh, Potter, you rotter. Oh, what have you done? You're killing off students. You think it's fun. You think it's good fun. <laughs> I forgot the good bit. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Chapter 11, The Dueling Club. So I want to get into the box, but I just want to mention as well, if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon VA group, then make sure you check out the link below because you become, for £3 a month, you become part of an amazing group of Harry Potter fans who literally talk about Harry Potter all the time, literally 24-7. We even have a private group chat, we have a private Facebook page, and starting last week, I have started doing a podcast, which is going to be, the full podcast is going to be private for my VA. VAs only and it's all about Harry Potter collecting the ideas we've had a collecting where to get items what's coming out new secrets birthday wishes and so much more so make sure you check out the link below I've just started doing the podcast the first one you can listen to is only about 12 minutes long or is 11 minutes long it was literally just a let's test this out theory so I will put the link down below for you however from today the rest of my podcasts will only be available to my VA so if you want to join the Victoria's Academy of Magic, my VA, and become part of the Victoria's Army, then check out the link just under this video. So we have a box of goodies from Fanatic. Again, the links to all of these will be down below for you. So I know one of the items, but I don't know what else they've sent me. So we're going to get into the rest of the items first. Oh, wow. Okay. What have they sent me? This is amazing. It's a box full of items. 
So we've got the first parcel here. Now, no normally these are limited edition, but Fnatic started off with the Platform 9 and 3 quarters ticket. And I think you could get it in sterling silver plated or gold plated. And they're amazing because not only do they come beautifully crafted, but they even come with their own little stand for you to display them. So that I think is a genius idea because when we get items we're so excited to display them that we kind of don't think about how we're going to display them until after we've received the item. Well most of us anyway including me but Fnatic make that easy for you because they send you a beautiful stand to display your item on. So we have the item sealed up here, let's have a look what this is. So you're going to see before me, I have no idea what this is. All I can see is that is there's limited to 9,995 worldwide. Silver plated embossed metal ticket, display stand included individually numbered. So from this angle, I can see that this is the Quidditch final ticket, the Quidditch World Cup ticket. I don't actually have this one in silver. So I'm so pleased that you guys have sent this to me. Thank you so much. Let's open it. In, let's open it up and see, oh I'm dropping everything on the floor while I get my knife as, and see what it actually looks like inside. And I also know that you guys are going to be asking me as well how my back is. My back's okay, um, It's I'm still on a lot of medication, so no signing any important documents right now, um, but I'm thoroughly enjoying my job, it doesn't take me long to film, so I am happy to continue filming as long as everything works out, but I am on the mend and it's all good to go. So this is the front and then you have the back there explaining the item in question or at least the fact that it is a limited edition item. So I'm going to take the front off. This says at the top silver collection. So here we have the ticket. How freaking cool does that look? Oh my god, honestly, their items are amazing. I have got quite a few of them now. And when I saw this one was being done, this one is actually, was started last year, but they still have them in stock. But the fact that they still have them, I'm really shocked because I didn't think they would. Right, this is number 1,257, which is on the back. I don't know if you can see it there, which is just above here. And obviously it has the all important details that it is obviously officially licensed by Warner Brothers. Now they do come with their own stands as I said. So if you want to display this item you can do that so easily. I will put the stand together for you and I will show you behind. Maybe I can do some close up photographs or something to go on my social media. So there we have the stand and there is the ticket. So how cool is that? You can instantly display your item. That's one of the things that sold it to me when I first started collecting, is the fact that they come with their own stand as well. So I'm gonna pop this to one side and we're gonna get on and open the next one. So we have an item here. I can see it's Harry Potter packaging, but I have no idea what the item is. So it's by the writing, it's that way round. So we'll open it this way. Because on the back it doesn't tell you exactly what it is, it just says that it's um, collectible and there's so many. What is this? Right, this is six set of six enamel badges limited to 5,000 worldwide. I didn't know they actually did badges. So let's have a look at this. Oh, that's so cool! Can I open them? Yes. Okay, so this is... They are, by the looks of it, it is to do with Goblet of Fire. That is so cool. I'm just twisting them around so you can see them better. I did not know they did pin badges. So you've got certain tasks. So you've got the first task, you have the golden egg, you have gillyweed. What's that one? That is the second task there. Then you have the third task, which is obviously the maze. Then you have the tri wizard cup. This is limited to 5,000, a set of 5,000. That is absolutely brilliant. I did not know they did pin badges. So let's have a look to see if there's anything, any detail on the back of these to see what number they are. 
because obviously everyone's so excited about what numbers things are. It doesn't actually say, it just says Warner Brothers Spring or Summer of 2021. It doesn't state which number it is. However, to have it as 5,000, that's really cool because you know what pin badges are like in the wizarding world. They're like gold dust. So what do you think of those pins? I love the golden egg one and the Tri-Wizard Cup and I love the maze one as well. Let's put the lid back on. That is really, really, really lovely. Definitely the Tri-Wizard uh, Cup is my favourite. The golden egg and the maze are my favourite from those. So let me know which ones are your favourite. So we have two more parcels. So I'm grabbing this one. I'm turning it around so I can't see it. It says on the back, this is limited to, five, to 9995, so it's limited to just under. Oh, there's two things in here, my mistake. Right, this item is limited to a, just under a thousand. What is that one? Is that a Buckbeak necklace? Oh my God, it is. I didn't know they did jewelry. That is crazy. Oh my God, I love it. I love Buckbeak. Oh my god, I'm so putting that on now. I knew there was a reason why I didn't wear a necklace. <gasps> I love it, I love it, I love it. I didn't know you guys did jewellery. I didn't know you did bin badges. Bin, bin badges? Bin badges. Apparently there's bin badges. I didn't know you did pin badges. That is amazing. Okay, let's see if I can, because my nails are so long at the moment. Let's see if we can get this on. I still can't see the other parcel because it's facing downwards, which is great. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's limited to 9,995 necklaces, Buckbeak necklaces. I love that I've got that. Thank you so much. Okay, the next item, again, is limited to 9,995 worldwide. It looks like a pin badge because I can see a pin at the back. Oh, wow, what's that? Oh, it's a Ravenclaw pin. No. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous! That's not your typical Ravenclaw pin, is it? That's really nice! Because she asked me what house I was in, and when I saw those pins, I thought, but that's not selected to a house. This is selected to a house. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is really, really lovely. I like the fact that it's not a generic uh, Ravenclaw pin either. It's not one that you've, we've, you've seen so many times. That is very, very different and it looks like it's an eagle. So the original Ravenclaw. That's really, really, really cool. Thank you so much. Right, let's pop that down there. And then we get into the reason why I messaged them in the first place. So this is where it gets exciting. This box is a fair weight, okay? So this is it, okay? So I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed, but I obviously know what's in here. This is the reason I messaged them, okay? This is so good. Oh, so excited. Again, Fanatic, thank you so much. Are you ready? This is the Hogwarts Journey Trunk Collectible Gift Set. This is why I messaged them. This is it. Individually numbered for... Ferks, I think that's like fake um, leather, travel trunk design, mini nor a dot nine 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 silver plated Hogwarts Express ticket, 24 karat gold plated Hogwarts envelope, 24 karat gold plated pin badge, school supplies art card limited to only 2000 and one worldwide. So this is it now this is what i've been messaging about where's my where's my knife has gone there it is so i don't want to damage the box either because these are these are limited edition i'm going to very very carefully take this out of its box okay so so excited about this so it's that way around so this is actually no freaking way are you serious look at the number of my box <laughs> zero 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 one this is number one how is that even possible how is that even possible fanatic oh my god you have just made my entire day and week okay and month that is amazing it was my birthday last week so for me this is a birthday present from you guys okay <laughs> 
no freaking way zero 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 one i feel so special right now okay so let's uh let's open it up and let's, let's have a better look shall we i've just I, my eyes are streaming now i can't I can't because i've got makeup on <laughs> okay so i can feel padding all right so we've got padding inside oh my god look at the top of that box how cool is that so we have the hogwarts school list supplies so they obviously said that that's what it contained as well so we've got this here if you're gonna collect anything from Fanatic, okay, because obviously I talk about collectibles and values and so on, this has got to be one of the items, okay, because this is it's limited to only 2001, okay, I have one, I can't believe I've got number one, this is crazy, and I just can't believe it, I cannot believe it, this is something that you really need to keep to collect, I don't normally mention that in videos, you know that, it's not like I, me going, for every item you have to collect this item it's blah 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 this is something there's only 2000 of them okay so and because it's the acceptance letter and it comes with so much this is one thing i suggest you collect but i would never display them it's lovely that it comes with its own little stand no matter what when anything silver plated or gold plated do not display them because they will tarnish and once they tarnish you can't polish them so i definitely collect it but I would keep it hidden away in its box, all secure and tidy. Are you ready now? Okay, that's a, from, a, from a world famous collector of 22 years. That's my advice, all right? So here we go, okay? Oh my, look at that wax seal. Now I haven't been this close to one of these sets. I've, I've seen it through glass, um, but I've never actually been this close to one of these sets. But this is where I'm gonna get really excited. Oh my God. Ah, look at that wax. Oh my God, look at that travel, little travel. Oh, look at that pin badge. The pin badge is lovely, but it's the envelope I'm more interested in. Oh my life. You ready? Okay, let's have a look. Let's see the front first, okay? because I haven't seen the front yet. I'm showing you the front. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Again, it is gold plated. And then on, oh my God, that looks so good. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And then on the back you have, look at that wax seal. Look at how gorgeous that wax seal looks. That's what's done it for me, is the wax seal. They could have done anything. They could have done anything with that wax seal, but they've done it properly. It looks like a beautiful, shiny wax seal. And then they have the raised part of Hogwarts there as well. But then the front, the front is is, is mine. The front, and the, the front part and the Hogwarts wax seal. I absolutely love how they've got that written. That is beautiful. And of course, it's Mina Lima's handwriting or Mirafora Mina's handwriting, which I, I just love, you know, it's the original handwriting for the original Hogwarts acceptance letter. But that wax seal at the back is gorgeous. I wouldn't display it. And I mean that 100%, I would not display this. It's something that I would keep very very safe in the box it would stay there in the box and that's where i would keep it as a harry potter collector i would literally just put it straight in its box right i'm trying to get the oh my god this is solid no way this london to hogwarts is more of a it's not a ticket it's more of a medallion like um like a chunk of metal You'll see what I mean now. This is absolutely so thick. Look at the width of that. Look how thick that is. Look at the raised pattern of it. Look how gorgeous that is. That is solid. That is absolutely solid. And of course it has all the details on the back as well to prove that it is an officially licensed item. Fanatic only do officially licensed items. And that is just amazing. Seriously, the weight on this thing is mad. I love the raised areas of this. 
Look how beautiful that is. Look how raised that is. That is gorgeous. Of course, I will put the links down for you down below so you can go straight to get your copy, your copy, your. I've just noticed that this is like fake, like ripped off. That is so cool, the detail on this is amazing. To get your copy before they run out. Again, there's only 2,000 and these have been up for sale for quite some time. So I haven't seen them on social media because I've been looking for them, but I haven't seen them massively advertised. So I don't honestly don't know what this video is going to do because recently when I've done videos on items, an hour later I'm being told by my followers that they're sold out. I don't know if that's down to me. I like to think it's down to me, but I just wanna let you know that I don't know how long these are going to be on sale for. Now, I don't know where the link will be from, but if there's any discount codes that I can share, I will put them down below for you, depending on where I get the item link from. I have obviously got Zavi and so on that I can use my discount co uh, code for, but I don't know if they sell them there, but I will check once I've done this video. And then we have the pin badge. The pin badge is lovely. It is lovely. Of course, it's Hedwig taking the acceptance letter to Harry. So that's really nice but it's not as oh my god oh my god oh my god oh wow <laughs> as the acceptance letter envelope and the platform nine and three quarters ticket i love the presentation of this box this box is beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous so and of course i, I just i love the fact that you guys have, have, have given me number one i think that's crazy that i have I have number one. I have collectible number one. This is mad. This is absolutely insane that I have this. I mean, you guys are amazing, but I can't believe I have number one. <laughs> this is so exciting. I mean, it's it's something that I've wanted for so long, right? This is something I've wanted for so long, okay? Absolutely love this item and I have number one. I mean, this just made my day. <laughs> that really has made my day. I love everything I've been sent, but this, this just beats everything. Absolutely beats everything. Thank you so, so much to Fnatic for sending me these outstandingly beautiful collectibles. They're items that I highly recommend you look into because if they are looked after rightly, then they will gain in value because maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next year, but things like this, if they're looked after, if they're well kept and they just people lose them, people lose content or what they've done with it and so on and so forth. But I really do think these will go up in value, especially if, I don't know, another company brings out something similar, then the original item will be more valuable. But I definitely recommend you looking at this set in particular. They also do obviously the Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore one as well for the train where they go. I think it's Belgium. I can't remember because I haven't seen the film for ages. But when they go on the train, obviously they leave from another platform. Is it platform ten and a half or something in Hog in uh, platform in King's Cross Station? So make sure that you check out the whole collection that they do. And I will put the links down below. I love this necklace and the fact that it's a limited edition necklace as well. I feel it feels like it's pewter. It's really beautiful. So thank you very much. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very, very soon.
want to check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.